made this video to just show you how much we love you and to wish you a happy 80th birthday. Um, even if quarantine wasn't happening, we wouldn't all be able to spend it with you as we're all spread across the world. So we wanted to make sure we could all join together and wish you a big happy birthday. time we took your truck to go shoot a deer um, or go hunting I guess well we shot one and it ran across the path or whatever and part way into the woods and she turned to me and said will you go find it for me and I remember I pretty much just walked like two inches into the woods and got scared of course and so you had to call Uncle Rick and Uncle Rick had to go drag down the deer and then we found it took it back to the barn and we, you, not we, you gutted it. And yeah, I watched it all happen and I'm not sure how I still feel about seeing that, but it's a very good memory of hunting with you. And there's just so many more of berry picking and all that, but that's one, that one stands out in, in my memory. One of my other favorite memories is the fact that you always told my mom we could take candy home with us and you literally filled our pockets full. And yeah, she didn't She didn't enjoy that because then we'd be all sugared up for the car ride. But man, did we love coming to your house and still do. Hi, Grandpa. Happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños. I miss you a lot, um, especially because I know I won't be able to come home this summer, but I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving um, because hopefully I will be able to come home then. <sighs> 80 years old. That's a big one. Um, Claire and I were talking about some of our favorite memories with you. And the ones that I was thinking a lot about, um, or the ones that stand out for me, are always down by the beaver dam. Um, I think... Most of my strongest memories are down there, catching fish, um, catching crawfish in the little crawdad pond, um, yeah, catching uh, bullhead, uh, catfish, I don't know, uh, and yeah, uh, stealing candy from the candy jar when when we knew that my mom didn't approve, but we knew that she couldn't say no as long as we were in your house. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to visiting soon and I love you so much. <music> Turia Park, and this is the Palace of Music and Fountains. Lots of people running because it's still quarantine. It's really beautiful. Here's one of the main bridges over the park. I'll be honest, I don't remember what it's called. I'm sure it has a pretty name, but there's really nice water features and fountains. Say happy birthday, great grandpa. Love you. Hi, grandpa and everybody. Happy birthday. Um, it's me just checking in, saying happy birthday to you. Hope you're doing well, staying safe. I'm just at work. It's nice and sunny and it's supposed to be hot out today, this weekend. Um, just doing the goats. There's a goat saying hi. 
All right, um, sorry we can't be there to help you celebrate and hope you have a great birthday. Love you and we'll talk to you later. All right, happy birthday. And all right, the goats say happy birthday as well. <laughs> all right, we'll talk to you later. Bye, love you. Hey dad, happy birthday. 80 years, wow. This isn't how we thought we'd be celebrating it though, is it? Coronavirus changes a few things. So, I uh, wanted to share uh, some of my favorite memories. So I have a few. Uh, <laughs> some of my favorite childhood memories are you giving us airplane rides on your legs, on your feet, where we hold on to your hands. Um, trapping, of course. Uh, riding in the bucket of the tractor while you'd lift us up and then pretend to drop us. Uh, getting candy from the DeKalb and Richville little stores when you used to take us there and let us pick what we wanted. Uh, of course, all my pets. You always provided me with uh, many. Rascal, the skunk, Uncle Wiggly, the pig, Mrs. Walker, the cow, the turkeys, the lamb and the list goes on. Another favorite memory is swimming after a long day in the hay field, doing donuts on the ice with the VW bug. I'm a little scared of that one, but it's a fun memory. Being your hunting dog whenever you'd shoot a rabbit or a grouse or partridge. Then of course there's your jokes, same jokes every time but we always fell for them. What's in that box? Every time. Your love for music, particularly country music, and you knew the words to every song. Digging through old couches at the dump for coins, and then sorting through your coin collection. Some of my more recent favorite memories are you taking us for a ride on the many roads you have built through the property, your love for feeding the birds, elderberry picking, and of course, your love for my pumpkin pies. Happy birthday, Dad. I love you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandpa. Happy birthday to you. Happy 80th birthday, Grandpa. Um, so Becky and I were at Aunt Nat's a lot when we were little, and we one of uh, our favorite things to do was play with the hay, uh, whether it was climbing up on the the conveyor and jumping into the square bales in the barn or running along the the round bales on the top of the hill and I remember one day we were uh, running along and jumping along the the round bales on the top of the hill and grandpa comes down and he asks us if we wanted to help him feed the cows and I was really excited about it, it was the first time I had done it and um, so we all got together and we pushed the, the giant round hay bales down the hill and they all rolled down and the cows ran over and they started eating it. And that was fun. Happy birthday, Grandpa.
birthday from Bill, Rachel, Nolan, and Mozzie from Quarantine in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. I want to tell you about a part-time job I got recently down in Philadelphia working at the zoo. We're going back and forth a lot for Nolan, you know. So I picked up a part-time gig working with the elephants down there. I go down every now and then, just you know, just part-time, remember, but I go down every now and then and help uh, circumcise the elephants. Money's not all that great, really, to be honest, but the tips are big. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> the yo-yo was invented around 500 BC by the ancient Chinese. Throughout history, it's gone through a lot of downs and ups. But in recent years, it's become so popular, some might even say it's getting a little out of hand. <laughs> Happy 80th birthday, Grandpa. Hope you live to see many more downs and ups in your lifetime. Hope you have a great day, and yeah, I'll see you soon. Love you. Good morning, Junior. Actually, good afternoon. And uh, we want to wish you a happy birthday, happy 80th. Uh, your daughter's over there with her new chainsaw and her new uh, helmet. And uh, we just dropped a maple and we're cutting it up. And she's very, very happy. Happy birthday. Dad, hopefully we have a lot more uh, time riding around the back roads uh, looking for junk. Hopefully there's a lot more coming. Happy 80th birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Hopefully we can get down to the pond this summer and take Wyatt fishing. We miss you. Wyatt's quite a busybody lately. He's growing up fast. We love you. You wave bye-bye. Happy birthday, Junior. Hi, Grandpa. Happy birthday. Um, remember when we went to feed the um, deer? I hope we could do that sometime again. Love you. Happy 80th birthday. <laughs> Hope you have the best birthday ever even though I can't give you a hug. Love your granddaughter Claire. <laughs>